Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, a, a blustery and cool evening, almost chilly, the wind making it feel cooler. It's not a great wind direction east-northeast, and that tends to keep the temperatures down and bring in some clouds. In fact, wind gusts within the last hour, I mean, nothing extreme, but anywhere from about 25 to 30 miles per hour at times. Still a lot of clouds out there, but a few communities have some breaks in the overcast, a little bit of sunshine coming through, but otherwise mainly cloudy and yeah, we'll call it chilly. It's in the upper 50s right now, 57 in Providence, uh, mid-50s, mid to upper 50s, and Taunton and westerly slightly milder uh, coming in with 60 degrees. We'll head down to uh, the south shore, uh, Narragansett Town Beach with uh, clouds and uh, cool temperatures. In fact, you widen out the view and you can see the flags snapping in the wind under mainly cloudy conditions but dry. So if you're heading out this evening, you don't need the umbrella, just grab a warmer jacket, but it'll stay dry until tomorrow morning. So a dry evening and a rainy Tuesday. Now we're not talking hit and miss scattered showers. It should be a widespread rain. Initially, it's light during the morning, but becoming heavier by the afternoon and, and by this time tomorrow evening. So while both commutes tomorrow look wet, looks like the heavier rain would be reserved for the evening commute. A couple of showers on Wednesday, but should not be a washout. You can see the mainly cloudy skies overhead right now as we widen out the view. The leading edge of the precipitation is still south of uh, New York City, and you can see it across the, the Ohio River Valley. So we have this warm front and a storm system across the uh, the Mississippi River Valley. This is all tracking north and east, arriving here tomorrow morning. Hurricane Center is actually watching this off the east coast with some interest and in possible development, but would not be a factor in our forecast. Let's get in real close. Take a look at the forecast. We'll walk you through it hour by hour, starting off this evening. Just watch the time bar right up in here. Generally, partly to mostly cloudy, blustery, and dry this evening. Here we are tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. A couple of showers at that time, and then notice the widespread rain is right in our doorstep. So, you know, by 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, it's overspreading the area. And then notice how you see more colors of yellow and orange indicating some downpours tomorrow afternoon, even the rumble of thunder possible. Looking at temperatures that will reach the upper 60s. I mean, here we are tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. This is the evening commute. Allow for some extra travel time and slower travel speeds. And that uh, wet weather will continue into 11 o'clock tomorrow evening. So for tomorrow morning, initially the rain is light, but becoming heavier by noon time, starting off in the upper 50s. Temperatures should jump to the upper 60s. 60s, gusty wind and widespread rain, heavy at times by 5 o'clock in the evening, 67 degrees. Wednesday is actually a summer-like day. It's in the upper 70s. It's very humid, and I think most of the time it's not raining. It's not a widespread rain, but a couple of showers can't be ruled out. Start to clear things out by Thursday. Friday looking good in the early call on the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, with sunshine and pleasant temps and highs between uh, 70 and uh, 75. But uh, rain, in fact, up to an inch or two possible in some downpours by tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. So take it slow. Fall joined us on Saturday night. By Sunday morning, I had a sweater on. I had that pumpkin coffee in hand. It's chilly out there. Yeah, Mother Nature following the calendar this time. Very much so. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Tony. Still